Hey everybody, I'm back with another read for you guys. This is a read in regards to what's going on with the karmic and the divine masculine. Okay, so we got some cards that's wanting to jump. Okay. What else? What's going on? Oh, unrequited love. And then it came out in the reverse. So this is just saying like the chemistry of the connection. I feel like, I feel like somebody's trying to make some type of effort to heal this connection. Okay. I feel like it was in this uh, unrequited energy, but they're trying to rebuild their chemistry here. They're even letting friends get involved. Like, they're trying, somebody's trying everything to get this person to be back on the same page and even uh, assist them financially, like, going above and beyond financially to get this connection back on the same page because it was just in this space where things were unrequited. They weren't seeing eye to eye, but somebody here wants to heal this connection. Somebody could be doing more. I feel like this is the Carmen. She's doing more um, to try to be attractive, try to make the masculine be more attracted to her. So this is her putting in some effort. Okay, so this is the effort I feel like she's putting in. She's trying to get this connection back on the same page because she feels like the connection is thrown off. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Okay, so What else is going on with the karmic and the masculine? What else is going on with the karmic and the masculine? Got a jumper, it's the two of cups. What else? What else is going on between the masculine and the karmic? Ooh, okay. We got the Hierophant and the Queen of Wands. What else is going on? I feel like somebody feels like somebody is either going through like some type of growth. It's like somebody's, it's like the karmic is trying to, uh, feels like she needs to step her game up. Uh, with the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles in a world, I definitely feel like she she feels like she needs to step her game up. And it's because she could be watching the Divine Feminine. Okay, so she feels like she needs to step her game up. She can't wait for Masculine to decide who he finally wants to be with. Like, does he really want to settle all the way down, get married, the whole shebang? Okay, so I feel like I feel like this current um feels like the connection could be in trouble. With this five of wands, she could feel like she's in competition with other females. Um, but she got her eye on the she got her eye on like marriage okay so she's thinking long term she's not thinking short term at all she's thinking that she's going to be with this masculine long term because we got the higher friend right here which is towards this energy we got gemini energy as well as queen of wands leo sagittarius aries energy she feels like somebody somebody could have uh, masculine could have been open and honest that about them being in the connection. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Okay, Eight of Cups. Okay, I feel like masculine just walked, just previously like walked out, walked away from his connection, didn't tell her where he was going, didn't tell her what when he was gonna be back. She feels like. Somebody is uh, else has his attention, okay? And she feels like somebody else could take masculine away from, from her. So she feels threatened. 
Yeah, Knight of Wands. He walked out, left, and maybe didn't tell her when he was coming back. She's starting to see his true colors. Okay. She's starting to see his true colors. Yep, the world. This connection is coming to a close. It's like it's ending because there's some type of drama or frustration, some competition. She's very nervous. This is this makes her upset. Okay, this makes her very nervous and very upset. Because he don't tell, he don't give her anything to go off of. Like, he don't tell her what time he's going to be back. He just leaves, does what he wants to do, come back whenever he feel like it. And it leaves her uncertain. Like, it leaves her feeling uh, like she's not sure what's going on. She don't know what he out there doing. But she's taking notes. She taking notes of this. She making a list and she checking it twice. <laughs> so when he come back, she said she got something for his ass. Yeah, cause she she feel like he know exactly what he doing, and she said you got the right female. <laughs> she said you got you got the right one. K Michelle, you got the right one. Damn, I really hate you. I'm going to say it again because the truth is I made you. Yeah. Tell me what a hard friend here. The Five of Swords. Somebody got commitment issues. Masculine got commi commitment issues. Got commitment issues. Mm, 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 mm. So it looks like there was a disagreement and masculine left. So it looks like there was an argument and it looked like it was an argument because there's masculine can't stay committed. He can't stay committed unless there's money involved. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, like I said. He can't stay committed unless there's something in, in it for that he's getting out of the connection. Why is the page of wands? I mean, the page of cups here. She's been communicating. She's she's been communicating with somebody else, okay, and they're telling her that oh, he's a popular he's a popular person. He's very good looking. Everybody want him. All the attention and stuff on him. So they feel like. You know, it's something to really think about. But I feel like she's communicating. She is, is communicating with the friend or she's communicating with another masculine right here. Or this is something that she's talking to masculine about because this emperor here is masculine energy. But I feel like also what could be being said too is that somebody said that they want the connection to be to end because somebody does not want to stay committed. She's starting to, she's peeping all the signs. This has happened before. But she took up for him the first time. But this time, she, she not feeling it. She took up for him the last time. She stood by his side. She stood beside him the first time. And she, he did something that was all the way wrong. And she stood, she stood beside him. But now she's realizing that this masculine wants stability. Like, this masculine wants money and stability. Okay? She knew it was a... She knew that he had some sneaky... Some, he was being sneaky. Her intuition telling her that he being sneaky, that he's starting to sneak off and do all the stuff that he used to. And she ain't going for it. She was giving him time to, to get it together, but it don't make sense to her. It don't make sense. Don't make sense that she's not getting it. Wow, if she is providing him, I feel like she, with the King of Pentacles and the and the Four of Wands and the Nine of Cups here, this is like everything that you want and need, you getting it. 
I'm hearing security. I feel like she wants some type of, she wants security with this masculine. She don't feel that. So she is definitely in her feelings, upset. She cold hearted right now. Right now she's very cold. She's queen of swords and she's, she's the tower. She's falling apart. It's crumbling. Um, and she's spying on him right now. I feel like she could have went through his phone or saw something because I'm seeing her saying, you, they see that you're in a relationship. So she's surprised that she feels tried or she feels like she got to compete. I feel like the masculine keeps giving, somebody keeps giving her the side eye or silent treatment. Masculine giving her the silent treatment or she's giving masculine the silent treatment. So masculine could have went. Um, went out and he's having drinks or chilling out, hanging out with his friends, talking about her to his friends. I feel like he feels like she didn't give him a chance to explain. He said, look, I feel like it was the first time it was my fault, but I just realized what you said. He feels this karmic could be younger than him because we got a Knight of Pentacles and an Empress. Like that's like a younger female. Um, oh, I'm here to take it how you want to take it. It is what it is. Like this masculine, he kind of he's fed up. He's fed up. She's gonna give, she feels like she think it's time to give him some space. She wanna make him regret what he said. Cause she feels like, look, you're not gonna keep me on hold and then start cheating and doing what you, whatever you wanna do. You tried that the last time and it's, like I said, she stuck up for him the last time. She had his back the last time that this happened. Mm. I got the lovers, the seven of wands, and the knight of swords. So she feels like she's pushing masculine away because he's starting to have sex somewhere else. He's sneaking off. He is sneaking off somewhere else. And she said, you're going to regret what you said. I'm hearing... Uh, you feel like you could talk to me all type of way. That ain't going to go down like that. I feel like this karma could have even been pregnant or is pregnant. We got the Empress and a son. She could have, for some, this karma had an abortion. And she said, look, that was a long time ago. But that ain't going to happen now. That ain't going to happen now. Oh. Yeah, this is some aggressive ass shit. Boy. Ooh. Why is this Knight of Swords here? King of Swords. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's a mess. So Carmen says she has stand up, stand her ground. Masculine over here, like, look, what you want me to do? What you want me to say? How you want me to respond? She's deciding to give masculine his space. So this masculine seems like he's already done walked out and he's doing something elsewhere. But I feel like they kind of have like this back and forth thing where he comes back. She lets them in, then they try to fix it, but it keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse, and worse every time. 
So y'all let me know what's going on in that comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.